Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from desireuser.blogspot.com with a quick look at the brand new Squarespace app. Well, I say new, it's been out for a couple of months now on the HTC Desire Google Android smartphone. Um, so, Squarespace. If you're a Squarespace user you've been waiting for, and an Android user, you've been waiting for this app for a long, long time. Squarespace is a web hosting and uh, publishing software solution. Very similar to... Um, say WordPress or um, is Jumala one um, the idea being that when you open a Squarespace account at squarespace.com not only do they host your website for you but they have the software that you use to publish it it's all done on it's all done uh, on the web so it's their custom CMS or, or content management system that they use it's very reasonably priced it's very very reliable and very 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 secure uh, I've used them now for about the last year and I've been pleased with it to say the least. One of the things that wasn't quite good about it though was that they're very iPhone and uh, iPod centric and iPad centric so the mobile app, well there was no mobile app if you're an Android user but they've just recently released one so I thought we'd have a quick look. So this is the main screen, um, oop, I've talked for so long my phone's turned off. So as you can see we've got compose, manage, statistics preview accounts and settings so you go into settings and you can change um, how you, uh, you interact with the app accounts um, if you've got m numerous Squarespace accounts you can flick between them preview um, is just a little browser so you could look see how your web your uh, website looks hey there's me <laughs> so on and so forth stats is really interesting so you can easily access all the stats about your uh, about your website it's just loading them now so we've got things like number of daily views unique visitors what the robots have been doing RSS um, subscribers who's referring um, visitors to your site and then we've got manage manage is one of the more useful things for the mobile app especially for comments because if people are putting spam comments or robots are putting scam spam comments on your website you can spot them very easily they'll come up in the notification bar when you get a new comment and just click on the comment and you can read it or you can spam it or, or delete it that way and you can also go into posts and you can tap on posts and you could um, edit posts and do it that way nice and good um, and then we have compose at the top which means we can go in and we can write a new um, post and we can do things like add pictures and go in and put add the character categories in the list or add tags that way um, again the, the, the Compose is a simple editor it's not as fully featured as the one you get on the web space but it's more than enough to do simple posts with a nice picture at the top and, and a lot of text I um, don't know if it works that way oh yeah it does, brilliant <laughs> Um, I've used the app to do a number of posts now, um, and it's easy to use, hasn't crashed on me once, been very, very reliable, and it's a nice addition to the Squarespace family of applications. So now we're sorted, really. We've got the one on the web for our laptops and our PCs. We've got the Android and the iOS apps for our mobile phones and our um, tablets. So there we go, the Squarespace Android app. Recommended if you're a Squarespace user, download it now from the Android Marketplace because it's free. Thanks for watching. My name is Rob from desireuser.blogspot.com.